Gullah Wars is the part of history that they tried to keep from us. They've tried to disguise this as the Indian Wars, and they've also used many other names as this. The Civil War did not free us. President Lincoln did not suddenly gain a conscience and thought to himself, you know what, this is wrong. We shouldn't treat these people like this. We freed us. We freed ourselves. And this was through the Gullah Wars. The Gullah Wars lasted from 1739 to 1858. These were military-minded runaway slaves. The myth that all slaves fled to the north, more than half of them went south. They went to Florida. They want to tell you that all the slaves went to the north because they're trying to throw you off from the rebellion. The rebellion that took place for over 100 years. The slaves would run away and head to Florida. This is where they built their own military. Whenever a runaway was captured, he would come back to the plantation and let everyone know what's going on. And if that runaway didn't get captured, he would tell the people in Florida where the plantation was. Give them information about the plantation, where they can hit them, where this is hidden, where that's hidden. Letting their comrades know where to go and what to do. They had the mindset of either we'll take our freedom or we'll die trying. Hundreds of angry slaves going to town to town, plantation to plantation, overwhelming everything in their past. And they was killing everything. People were getting their heads chopped off. People were getting set on fire. And they didn't care. This included women and children. They would ransack anything in their path and slaughter everybody. The first war began in 1739 called the Stono Rebellion. They went to a local gun shop and they took all the weapons. They killed the shop owner and as they collected the weapons and they left, they all chanted, freedom, 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 freedom. It was so loud that it echoed throughout the town. Everybody heard it. As I've stated, the war lasted for over a hundred years. But the most important one took place probably about a decade before the Civil War kicked off. These runaway warriors lit up the United States military. Yeah, you heard that right. The United States military got their asses handed to them. A little more than 400 escaped slaves defeated nearly 12,000 of the United States finest. They led them off into the swamps and other areas. And since they knew the location, they were aware of the surroundings, the U.S. had no chance. Now back in 1812, Spain was at war with the U.S. over territory in Florida. Now Spain, they got word of what was going on. So they started giving weapons to the escaped slaves. They started giving them weapons and they started training them. The army grew fast. The U.S. was getting attacked from angles that they had no idea how to respond to. There was a very prominent town in Suwannee, Florida. In Suwannee, they didn't need white folks for anything. They didn't need any assistance. Andrew Jackson, who was general at the time, sent the troops into Suwannee and they got annihilated. So they went into battle. They got their ass tore off. And as they retreated, since they were forced to retreat because they couldn't handle it, General Andrew Jackson spotted a section in the community where the women and children were hiding. This punk bitch motherfucker spotted them and slaughtered each and every one of them. They couldn't handle the men, so they slaughtered the women and children. And then they continued their retreat. Now the act of importing slaves was not stopped due to the kindness of their hearts. The United States stopped importing slaves because of the Gullah Army. That army kept growing and growing. Now some of the people that were born into slavery, they fought and they wanted to get out. But a lot of people they were bringing over, they were riders and they weren't having that shit. 
And this is what led to the Emancipation Proclamation. White towns had so much fear, everyone was so afraid, and they put so much pressure on Lincoln. This is why they did that. They knew that they wasn't going to be able to contain this anymore. They saw how fast it was growing, and this widespread warfare was getting out of control. General Thomas Jessup said that the Negroes are running the war. You got to be careful with these names. They want to call these the Seminole Wars or the Indian Wars. Now, on December 8th, 1837, General Jessup wrote a letter to Andrew Jackson telling him, you may be assured this is a Negro and not an Indian war. And if it be not speedily put down, the South will feel the effects of it and their slave population before the end of next season. We have never just accepted slavery and laid down. The Gullah Wars lasted for more than a hundred years. We've always fought back. Do not disrespect the ancestors like that. I've seen dumbass quotes of people saying, we are not our ancestors, we'll whoop y'all ass. Please don't disrespect the ancestors like that. They have never accepted that shit. Never.